started now. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to my um, Make It Monday. I'm Sandra, the Stamping Bee, where each Monday I share with you projects, ideas for card making, or anything else that I am working on in hopes that you will be inspired as well. Hi, Ross. How are you? Good to know that my voice is coming through. Hello, Lynn. Glad you can join us. And while we're waiting for more people to join, I did want to remind you that um, the special join promotion that we uh, that Stamping Up is having is still ongoing until the November 30th. Um, it's a great opportunity to join my team. Uh, for only $75, you get $125 worth of products. So whether you're taking advantage of Christmas shopping um, or you wanted to join a team where you can um, network and uh, get together with like-minded creative folks, you are welcome to my team. There's never an obligation. So um, if you're interested, do message me and we can talk some more. So again, the promotion is only until November 30th. So you get $75 worth of products for $125. And, with, and there's no shipping. And with each starter kit, you actually also get um, one of the past paper pumpkin kits. So that's all like a $21 value. So really excellent value. Great. Thanks, Ross. All right. So today's topic is a little bit different. Um, with December just around the corner, um, my mind's been preoccupied about putting together my annual December daily album. I do that every year because December is a pretty special month for me. Not only is it Christmas, it's my birthday and wedding anniversary. So talk about a jam-packed month. So it's a month I definitely um, make an effort to document and preserve the memories. So um, December being a very busy month, um, to be able to do that, of course, there's a system, and I wanted to share with you how it's not, I mean, I wouldn't call it simple, but with a little pre-planning, I'm sure I know that you can do it as well. So that's what I'm here for, is to spur you on and um, encourage you to document uh, your December memories, your holiday memories, or any ma memories for that matter, um, that it's, it's just simply... Um, Printing out the pictures from your phone. Yes, print out the pictures from your phone. Seems like a novel idea, doesn't it? This day and age, you know, people just keep the pictures on their phones. Um, but I tell you, once you complete one of these albums, you will be amazed how people enjoy it. You know, I leave it out. My kids, when they come home, they look at it. Um, it's definitely a great way to um, reminisce the good old days, right? So I know Stamping Up doesn't really have a very large inventory of memory keeping specific products, but what it does carry um, is definitely more than adequate. So what they have is at 120, page 127, okay? And they carry a six by eight album, and it's actually the perfect size for um, those of you interested in starting out. And because it utilizes what the industry calls a pocket memory keeping system, what it is is a, um, what do you call it? Let me grab these. It's a modular system. So let me put this away. So it's a modular system and you're working with um, three by four sizes and uh, four by six. So the variation is like one on the bottom, two on the top. And um, let's see. So these are the variations that you can play with where is it um, you can have two four by sixes and or I think this is a pack that I've played with so that's why it's not having all of it or two, uh, three by fours what it means is when you're printing out pictures uh, you print them out by four by sixes so for example you print out picture you just slip it in here print out a picture slip it in here very simple system okay nothing to it i'm sure you're familiar with the old-fashioned um photo albums like these okay do you still have these it's basically the same thing if you have one of these that are laying around empty 
Well, I encourage you to bring this out and try um, creating an album with this type of a system where you put in a picture and then put some pretty paper next to it and document it, and that's good. That's good to go. Anyway, so, so this is what we call the pocket memory system, and which is the system that um, I, I adore because it's just so simple. Okay, so what you do is you print out your, how you do your three by fours is you print them on a four by six and then when you receive it from the photo processor, you just slice it in half. Okay, very simple. And I will probably put a link to where I get my pictures printed. It comes to me about maybe 10 days, so it's not that long and um, pretty good quality. So there you go. So let's see. So that's what I wanted to do is share with you my little system. So with the album, what you can do is you could paint your album. This is one of the old albums that Stamping Up had with the brown um, edge. And this one I painted with just acrylic paint, okay? And this is an album that I made for my daughter's first year in college. See, very simple. See, she's supposed to be journaling this because I don't want to journal for her. Um, so it's obviously taking a while. But as you see, I'm just printing out pictures by four by sixes. And uh, this pack was a stamping up pack of cards, memories and more cards. So it makes it so simple. You just slip and go, right? And of course, there's, you can also do something a little bit fancier, which is what I did here. This is one year, I believe, stamping up had a series of laser cut lacy paper. And this is what I did for, um, this album is I painted it and uh, I adhered the lacy um, paper onto it. And this one, I, I don't remember what I did this for, but um, this was coordinating with this particular DSP, designer series paper. And as I said, once um, everything coordinates, so it really makes it very simple to organize your pictures this way. Okay. So what I do is the first thing I do is I, I'm trying to pick the paper that I want to use. And that's usually the hardest. So for my December album this year, when this came out during celebration, I knew immediately this was the paper that I wanted to use for my album. Because um, for our family, this Christmas, we'll be in Montana. And uh, I thought this really encapsulates the feel of our, um, the resort that we're staying in, okay? I, I honestly believe the hardest part of doing this album is picking out the paper to use because there's just so many choices, right? And you just cannot decide what you want to use. So after I pick the main paper out, and as you will note, every pack of paper that Stamping Up has, it will tell you what the coordinating colors are. So once I look, once I decide that I wanted to use this paper, then I look and see what the colors are. And then I'm honing in on the garden green and real red, okay? So then I go collect papers, <laughs> little bits and pieces, and I put them in this big Ziploc bag. So let me show you what I've collected so far. So this is one of the basic paper um, packs that we have and this is real red so I know that it will match so I just put them aside and this is the peaceful I think anyway I wanted some snow scenes so I grabbed a few sheets from that particular pack um, this is very generic so I know it'll go um, this is the pack of paper that I mentioned and then I noticed that the painted Christmas also comes with real red and garden green so then I said, well, why not? So I picked a, a few sheets here, and then I'm good to go. Okay, so picking out the paper, and then putting together a few cardstock, okay? So that's part of the fun process. It's like a scavenger hunt, and uh, getting, ready for, uh, getting ready to start. And if you want, you can also start cutting 
these pieces into the different sizes that will fit in. And then also I'm thinking about what my embellishment would be. So for this particular album, I'm going to be using um, this twine and um, I will be using these, these snowflakes, um, wonderful snowflakes. And um, this is a pack from a few years ago and I'm so sorry that this is going to be my last few and I'm gonna use it very conservatively. But so this is what Stamping Up had a couple years ago that I've hoarded. And um, I put a few sheets of the silver foil just in case I need it. And then I started to cut a few of these cardstocks to the sizes that I will need. See, this is more scavenger hunting around my stash to see what is in the colors that will coordinate with my theme. So this is from the Memories and More card kit that um, I showed you last um, Monday. And I know I can use this because this is real red. If anything, I can cut this out, but this will, be, this will work well um, in case I have pictures that are food related, right? So I'm gonna save this. Again, I'm cutting them out. I mean, everything is just three by four or four by six. And of course, I embossed a few sheets like this just in case you know the key is getting the pieces ready to go so that when you are when you've got your pictures back um, you're not having a hard time trying to decide how to decorate the album the albums are already decorated so to speak and all you're doing is putting the pictures in okay so far so good I hope I haven't lost you and then the next thing is obviously you want to make sure you have a good die, die cut set that includes numbers and alphabets. And this is the one that I'm using. It's called Playful Alphabet, but it's, not, it's casual enough. I think it will work really well with my particular album. It's not too fancy, not too girly. It's just right. And I'll show you what I'm doing with my numbers. Okay. So this is just going through what I have been doing the last few weeks in trying to get my album ready. So this is the numbers, because obviously this is a December daily album, so I do one page every day, each day. It doesn't have to be, I'll show you later my system, but it doesn't have to be every day, um, whatever you've done that day. It's just every day there's something that you want to jot down about that particular um, what that happened that particular day, okay? So, well, this is missing because I'm gonna show you a sample of what I did with it. So I would die cut all the numbers out and uh, just kind of play around with it. Of course, this is not going to be set in stone because even though we plan ahead, we always make sure that we have the flexibility to change um, as the situation arises, right? Because if something happens that you didn't know, like, oh, that would work better, of course it will then you have the flexibility. And then I also die cut a few of these. I love this because it's got a raised edge. I don't know if you can see that. A raised, oh, there, raised edge, these labels. These are perfect for journaling. So I die cut a stash of these so that when I'm ready to journal, I already have these ready to go. Again, it's all in the preparation. And FYI, I've got a 60 here. I'm turning 60. Yikes. So that's why I make sure I have a number 60 there. But as you can see, there's a lot of room for playing. Um, you know, you want to make sure, you know, different uh, colors on different days or if you want them one week all in one color. It's totally up to you. So that's the fun of it. All right. So are you ready to see what I've done with my album so far? Okay, so this is the album that I started on. It's no way finished. Um, it probably won't be finished until after the New Year's. So um, I'm using one of the albums that Stamping Up has. It's this one right here, okay? And it's only $10. It comes um, with, what, what's you, um, chipboard I think it's what's called so you as I showed you in my earlier albums you can paint this um, with acrylic ink 
uh, paint, um, or what I've done here is just cover it with pretty paper. So I always like to put a ribbon binding, and I haven't done that yet because I haven't decided what I want to do. So I thought maybe you guys can help me. What do you think? Do you think the black and white gingham ribbon looks good? Or do you think this one looks subtle enough? Or maybe even this one. See, the fun part is these are all real red or black. So you know the colors will match. And that's what makes it so easy with stamping up. A real red here is a real red there. And it's a real red in the paper. So you know the color will match seamlessly. Okay. So that's one of the decisions. As I said, the pre preliminary work is usually hard in the sense that there's a lot of decisions to be made, but once you make the decision, it is good to go. So this is the theme, okay? And I put 2021, and this is from the Snowflake um, die cut. And here we go. So the first page I always use, I call it a title page. Um, and uh, this is what it is. It introduces the theme, or more so, more color theme. And uh, so this is the first sheet. And as you can see, I also um, like to put embellishments outside on the plastic cover because I want it to be, you know, tactile. You want to touch it. And it also gives it that three-dimensional um, look to it. Okay, so this is my title. And uh, this is a saying from one of the Christmas stamp sets. And it introduces um, the theme and the colors of my album. So I don't know if you can see it well. Here, let me take it out of the glare here. So there. So this is the first page, okay? So it introduces all the color, the pattern paper that I'll be using in this album, okay? There's many ways you can do that, um, but this is one way that I've done for this album. Okay, you know what? I'm not, I'll just. Okay, so let me show you. I think there's, yeah, this is better, okay. So here's day one, okay? So day one, I, this is how I put the number in there, and I stapled it there, and for me, the staple is kind of that silver um, touch that I wanted throughout the album. So there's that's why it's stapled there. So for day one, um, I have three spots for either pictures or journaling. Now, of course, if day one, I have a really awesome four by six picture, then of course I would take this out and put it in one of the pages that allows a four by six. So by no means is this cast in stone, um, but for now, this is what I'm thinking, planning. And so pit number two, December 2nd, again, okay? So this is number two, all right? And number three, okay? So for December 3rd, I have room for two pictures. Um, or it doesn't even have to be pictures. One of the things, way, way back, I think maybe 10, 15 years ago, I started a December album, and it started as um, bits and pieces, paraphernalia of December. So each day, I saved a piece of something from that day, whether it's a receipt or a piece of mail that I saw. So in my album, I may not have a lot of pictures. I like to keep little, like, business cards or... Just little, you know, junk, I guess people say, but I treasure little things that remind me of um, that particular day. So anyway, so this is day three. And if you notice, I don't know if you notice here. Let me know. Aha, green staples. How did I do that? In case you're not aware, um, stamping blends. Oh, the other way. So this particular one, unfortunately, Stamping Up doesn't sell anymore. But um, so what you do is if you color your staples with Stampin' Blends, it stays permanent, okay? So this is a really quick and easy way to accent your 
your project, whether it's your cards or your album, um, some a little different thing, right? So that's what I did. Because this one doesn't have any green, so I wanted to make sure that there is a little bit of green on each page. You know, all the colors are represented, so that's why I did that. Okay. And because these pages are um, double-sided, if you are afraid of the bulk of your album, you can very well just keep this and then like have one of the pictures matted on this. So you can use one piece of paper for both sides. So moving along, so I know on the 20th, we'll be traveling to Seattle. So this is what I did, Seattle with all the trees. So put Seattle here and the 20th, okay, can you see this? So I would imagine I would have a picture of me and my husband on the plane or, um, you know, what we're eating on the plane. Um, so little things like that. So, and then we're traveling to Whitefish, Montana, and the uh, airline code is FCA. I like to use airline codes. It's kind of, I think it's pretty cool. So I know that we will be there. So this is the page that I'm reserving for this part of the trip. It's snowing there already. Can you believe it? So this is definitely the right um, designer series paper to use. Okay. And so here, again, so breaking up this particular DSP, because I know it'll be snowing the whole time we're there. So all across this particular trip to give it a unifying theme for our white fish trip, all the pages will have a little bit of this white piece of paper, okay? So this is this, right? And this is here. Again, these are just preliminary. It's not set in stone. So if I needed to change, I can change because this is a modular system. And if I wanted to add more, I can, okay? And so this is a pocket that I hoarded. I ordered so many when they were retiring these because I like to put like brochures, uh, restaurant menus, um, maps, although they, I'm getting fewer and fewer maps these days when I travel because nobody uses a map. Um, you know, business cards from the restaurants that we eat at. So this is what... Um, I always have at the back of my album. But for those of you who don't have access to this, um, these are from the um, dies that we have, and they work really well. So I included this, and I'm thinking, hmm, I can use this maybe to separate out the cards that I might receive um, for Christmas or my birthday, right? So that's what it's there for, okay? So I hope I've given you a good idea as to um, how my system is in creating my December daily album. Um, the key is in pre-planning for sure. So now that I've got all the pieces ready to go, so when December 1st rolls around, all I do is just fit in the pictures. And, um, and also by having the system, you know the picture that you'll be taking is um, vertically oriented if you want to. So if you, want, you have a vertical oriented picture, it will be one of the two, uh, three by four size. But if you have one of the bigger horizontal pictures, then it could be a four by six, okay? Hope that makes sense. I don't know if you have any questions. Oh, hi, Nola. <laughs> You know what, I've done this so many years that it becomes second nature. And I did want to show you, where did my thing go? Here we go. So this is something that I do like now, right? Right before I do that. Because there are certain events that you know that is certainly going to happen. Like, hello, my birthday, my anniversary, um, so I know I have a workshop this day. I know I have a team Christmas party here and I have a team Christmas party here. So I already know these days I will have pictures to fill my album. OK, 
Okay, so this is where I'm going to Montana, New Year's Eve. And so for the in-between days, that's really the fun, the, um, the unexpected things that could happen that you want to document. So one of the things that I always do, for example, is I jot these down as I remember, as I'm waiting in line. Is this year I definitely want to put my Christmas letter and my cards. I usually make one major card for all my family members. So I might put a sample of that in the, and it could be any day. You know, it's like on a slow day. If you don't know what you want to put, say, you know, it's Friday and geez, you don't know what you want to put that day. Then you go through all your notes. Like, for example, I'm really into the currently type of a um, prompts. So what am I listening to? What am I watching? What am I reading? What am I eating? What am I loving? What am I hating? What am I drinking? So these are all things that in the future, when you look back, it really is a lot of fun. It's, it's very heartwarming. Um, so those are things that you can um, definitely document in one of these days. It doesn't have to be something right on the 8th. You know, if I don't have anything planned on the 8th, maybe I will talk about what's my favorite drink right now. Um, you know, where am I, what am I buying? What am I watching? What's the TV show? What's on Netflix right now? And one of the things that I always do is decorations around town or decorations um, in my house. What am I decorating? So this is one of the things that I did last year. These are, this is picture from last year. So I take little snapshots of my house and uh, I put it in a grid and this is a four by six and that goes into one of the days, the pages. And it reminds me of what I've done. So oftentimes, more often than not, it reminds me, oh my gosh, I have this. Where is it now? So it's kind of fun that way. And then of course, this is one of the things that I do. That was another page from last year is the card that I made, and what is the stamp of that year, okay? That also bears, you know, to remember what the stamp of that Christmas is, because sometimes those stamps are so darn cute. So anyway, so that is my system, and um, I hope you are encouraged enough to want to give it a go. Oh, like I jotted down the COVID count, how's COVID this year, okay? And what are some of the gifts that I am uh, preparing for this year, okay? So those are things that you can put in your December daily album. And uh, it's a repository of your life in a snapshot of December that later on when you look back, you will be so glad that you did this. Um, and by having a system, it really makes it easy. So I hope that you will give it a try. And if you think December is too big of a chunk, maybe just do Christmas Day, right? Um, or maybe just do Thanksgiving. Try just Thanksgiving weekend. And uh, once you get into the habit, I think you will agree that this is the best scrapbooking system ever invented. <laughs> I really swear by this. So anyway, so thank you for joining me in this very personal um, video um, and that's because I just feel so strongly about the system and I wanted to share with it because actually I was talking to one of my team members Michelle she she really encouraged me to do this because I'm because I don't know how many of my viewers are actually doing memory keeping um, so if you are already I hope it gives you some idea how to um, not how to but you know for your particular album and if you aren't Maybe you might want to attempt one. Um, all right. I don't think um, there are any questions. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Well, anyway, thank you very much for sticking with me all this time. I see all my viewers there. <laughs> um, and I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I'm pretty sure you can use what I've shown in cards as well. So it wasn't wasted time. And uh, anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you watching me live and even on the replay, I do appreciate it. And if you enjoyed it, please be sure to give me a like and share with your friends. And um, that would be great. So 
I guess seeing no questions, no further questions, I will say goodbye now. All right. Thank you. See you next week then. Bye-bye.